Good morning. Welcome to my thought for the day. I think the way my mind's working this morning that we will spend some little time in what must be one of the most well-used and well-known chapters of the whole New Testament, really. Um, along with the parable of the Good Samaritan, the parables of the lost sheep, the lost coin, and the lost son or prodigal son, as it used to be called, are probably the most used parables, maybe best known parables of all. But that doesn't mean that we should skip them at all. So we are in Luke chapter 15, um, and uh, uh, we start by thinking about what prompted Jesus to tell these three parables, to tell these three stories that are interlinked and that are very beautiful stories, uh, simply told, but so profound. Um, so what prompted it? That's, my, that's where we're starting today. Why did Jesus talk about the lost anythings, the lost sheep, the lost coin, and the lost son. Uh, the chapter starts, now the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to hear him. And the Pharisees and the scribes murmured, saying, this man receives sinners and eats with them. So having had a lot of criticism already in this gospel about Jesus and the way that he behaved on the Sabbath and kept breaking the rules on the Sabbath for the sake of those who needed help. And he was criticised and there was great, I, I think, great sadness in the heart of the Lord when people who should be leading the people and helping them live their lives to the full were instead of glad that the person was healed, critical that the healing had taken place on the wrong day. Um, and criticism, we have to be very careful about criticism. So here we have this situation where lots of people were coming to Jesus, but the majority of them, or a large number of them, were tax collectors and sinners. Why were they coming to Jesus? Because they felt that Jesus uh, was warm towards them, was open to them. He didn't shun them the way that the religious leaders of the day did. He didn't treat them as outcasts. He treated them as equal. He welcomed them. He had said, um, I've come to seek and save the lost. The, sh the, the, the well don't need a physician. It's the sick that need the physician. And they, they were responding to his words quite differently to the way that the Pharisees and scribes were responding. And instead of being glad that these people had come to hear from a man who was obviously speaking God's words and um, turning people away from their ways towards God, which he was obviously doing, instead of saying, well, we're so glad that these people are changing. They're, they're finding faith. They're coming. They're, they're, they're not lost anymore. They're being found. Instead of being glad, they were critical. And they were critical of Jesus for mixing with the wrong people. For mixing with people who were known to be sinners. Who were blatant in the way they lived. Of whom it was obvious that they were they were not in, they were out. But we've had the parables beforehand about the marriage feast, the great banquet, which is in chapter 14, 15 to, to 24, where Jesus makes it quite clear that um, those who were invited to the banquet had made excuses and didn't come. And then those who were outside were brought in by the servants so that the banquet would be eaten and this was clearly a parable against the leaders of the day who didn't want what God was offering them for themselves and they didn't want anyone else to have it either and this was their attitude 
And Jesus, Jesus was so critical of them. In his turn, he was critical of them. But instead of shouting at them or railing at them, he told them a story about a shepherd with a hundred sheep. Now, in the Old Testament, there are a lot of passages which talk about the leaders of the people of Israel being shepherds, and even that God is a shepherd, and that the leaders, the religious leaders particularly, were like God in that they were meant to act as shepherds on his behalf, looking after his people. And indeed, the greatest king, um, uh, David, the great king David, was a shepherd. And so when Jesus tells a story about a shepherd with a hundred sheep, he is talking about them. He's saying, aren't you as shepherds supposed to be glad? Aren't you supposed to be seeking the sheep that is lost? Aren't you supposed to be glad when the sheep is found? As shepherds, isn't this your role? Instead, you want the lost sheep to stay lost. Jesus, very point, his teaching is very pointedly against those who are religious, but who don't want people, they don't want those who aren't like them in, they want to keep it all for themselves. And even when they keep it for themselves, they don't really want it. They make excuses and they don't embrace what God has given to them. What a sad, sad commentary on the religious leaders of the day. That's my thought for the day. We'll continue thinking about sheep tomorrow, I think. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.